Justice of the Commonwealth. But Mr. Speaker, I have keenly observed as veering off at a tangent. If you get back to our rule 190, you have all the discretionary powers. Nobody can challenge you in constituting a select committee. But Mr. Speaker, it has become a practice that we ignore sub rule two, which requires, of course, that uh, you do this in close consultations with uh, the government chief whip and the chief opposition whip. Mr. Speaker, you have not done that, and it is not the first time, but I'm raising it so that it should be the last time, Mr. Speaker. So uh, are we proceeding in total compliance to our rules, Mr. Speaker, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you had raised a very good point. Take your seat. You had raised a good point, but the problem you gave an ultimatum to the speaker, which is, uh, which is against the rules, so you are out of order. Honorable Seungu.